Illinois headed into Williams Arena searching for their identity. After falling behind 14-3 early, they began to find it. Right down by 11. Right away, Nunn. Up 4-3. And he got it. Kendrick Nunn. Loose ball. Who's got it? Jalen Tate. Outlet to Kendrick Nunn. Here we go. Nunn on a slam. Yes, sir. Kendrick Nunn. Puts it on the deck. Can't find an opening down to Nana. Who shoots it and buried it? Nana Igwu. A minute 35 left. Illinois up 52-44. Here is Abrams. Drive down the lane. Layup. It's good. Down to one second. It's over. The Illini went on the road 62-49 over the Minnesota Golden Gophers. We, we were confident, aggressive out there. We believed. Ain't nobody breaking us. We make that decision. Ain't nobody breaking us. Period. All right? We've got now a week off. Okay? So we got some rest uh, coming here. And then we have Nebraska back at the crib. With nine new guys, you know, it's all about teaching them the ways we do things around the University of Illinois. The team always has to be together. If one person strays away, that can hurt the team a lot. We got, like, dogs on our team, and that's what Coach likes. He likes competitors. Toughness, you ask Coach, is just being mentally strong and physically loose. The Fighting Illini returned home to face a Nebraska team who had won five games in a row and was looking to add another win to their NCAA tournament resume. The Illini would use their stifling defense to hold the Cornhuskers to 49 points. Freshman Kendrick Nunn led the Illini with 13 points as Illinois cruised to a double-digit victory. Corner Nunn, post up for three, got another one. Good man, is he hot. Dribbles into traffic, now to Pitchford. Pass deflected and stolen by Illinois. Oh, great play. Inky with a great save inbound. How do you like that? The Illini defense has just been merciless here in the last few minutes. Illinois, John Gross says, come on, crowd, applaud these young men. They've won two in a row, 60-49, Illinois over Nebraska. Nicely done. Big win for Illinois. You defend like that, you have that type of toughness, man. You got a shot every night. I'll be honest with you, like, we missed some open shots. I thought we had some great ones in the second half. Okay? We make a few like a few of those in the second half, and it's, it's, it's more than 10. Okay? But you guys were awesome today, a product of how you practice. We had one that was a little sketchy, the other three were off the charts. And for the most part, you played like you practice. Okay, you did a great job, man. We gotta keep building, keep growing, keep getting better. Um, I think we're doing that. We've said all along we fully expect to play our best in February and March as we head towards season three, and we're on our way. Illinois would face one of their toughest tests of the season with a trip to the Breslin Center to face Big Ten contender Michigan State. The Fighting Illini were looking for their first win in East Lansing since 2006. While we're on the subject, what uh, in case somebody hasn't seen the News Gazette today, what did you pick on this one? I picked Michigan State. I, I can't remember the score. I think it was something like 65 or 64 to 58 or 59, something like that. Uh, I think it's going to be within 10. You know, Illinois has lost, I think it's seven straight here, but I think most of those games have been pretty close. You know, last year they lost by five. So uh, I think they can they can hang with them for a while, and, you know, we'll see if Michigan State, uh, you know, the 5-0 and in games this year after losing, I think it is what it is. And, um, you know, they're coming off a loss right now, and they average close to 80 points a game in those games after a loss of 79.8 or something like that. So um, they've had a week off, and they're coming off of a loss, so these guys might be uh, might be primed to, to put something together tonight. Michigan State in the home white. Illinois in the visiting blue. The tap in the air. It's won by Illinois. Abrams cross court to Hill. Right wing three. Looks good. It is. Now to Dawson. Put it on the floor and had it stolen by Ray Rice. Rice headed the other way. And he lays it in for the layup. Out time they find Payne. Payne puts it on the floor. Had it stolen again by Ray Rice. Here he goes again. And this time he stuffs it home. Nope. He's going to drive baseline under the basket. Whips the pass to Morgan. Layup. Good. And why not coughing it up too many times? Here's Nunn to Abrams, top of the key for three, and he buried it. Illinois has been cooled off the last four minutes. Down the lane, Harris, oh, with a stop. Ten to shoot, Tracy, stutter step, under the basket, good Nola pass to Iki, who slams it in. 37-32, Illinois. Rice up for three, he got it. 
Ravante Rice along the baseline, 10 to shoot. Can't shoot, now to Appling, shot blocked by Nana Egwu. Under the basket, pass to Valentine, he finds Harris, open for three and he got it. Kind of pinned up out top, here's Hill. Drives, kicks to none, left corner three, he got another one! Oh, what a freshman shot he's got! And here is a drive by Appling. Lob underneath and a good feed by Valentine and a stuff. Rolls to the right. Tate out top to Iki. Top of the key for three. He got it. Huge shot. The Spartans are waving the white flag. The end zone is filing out. Illinois is going to get out of here. East Lansing with a win. The horn is going to sound. They've done it. The Illini win it. 53-46 here in East Lansing. And wow. for four straight games, they hold an opponent under 50 points. Let's let Nana get those headset on here, this headset. Let's talk to him. Uh, talk about this team's defense. Man, you guys are remarkable. I mean, it's tough to win here. If you play defense, you can. And I think this is, this is how many games in a row we have held on teams on the four. Fifth? Four? Four in a row. That's I mean, that's, that's hard to do that's, in this day and age. Man, that, that's how we were all year. You know, defensively, we knew that in order to keep winning games, you know, it gives us a chance. We need to keep playing defense because through that rough stretch, um, we were making mistakes, but, but defense was pretty consistent. So we knew if we can just keep that going and fix other things, uh, once we start to come, man, it just feels good to come in here and, and get a big roll kill. The Michigan game marked the last appearance at State Farm Center for fifth-year senior Joseph Bertrand and graduate student John Eakey. Both players played key roles for the Illini all season, even after a lineup shakeup had them coming off the bench at the end of their careers. Unfortunately, Michigan would spoil the special day by shooting an incredible 70% from behind the arc and leave Champaign as outright Big Ten champs. Illinois looked to close the regular season against a nationally ranked but struggling Iowa squad. The Fighting Illini jumped out to leads of 8 to nothing and 20 to 6 before the Hawkeyes roared back to take a 5-point lead into the locker room. In the second half, Iowa's lead reached 6 points before the Illini used their growing confidence to go on an 11-0 run to take a 5-point lead. Rice to the basket, and he stuffs it home. Revante Rice with a flush. He's got 15. Right to left of the white gazelle. Stutter step with the layup. Missed it. Rebound won't go for Olashini, and the rebound grabbed by Bertrand. Bounce pass, Iki inside to Egwu. Turn around, oh. jumper is good. <laughs> left wing now to Oglesby, puts it on the deck, stops, gets it to Gazelle, pops for three, and got it. Gazelle with a three, tied at 59. Here is Abram to Iki, left open for three, and he got it! Big shot. Well, this has been an adventure some few seconds here. Lob across, oh, and Rice threw it away. Stolen by Gazelle, who missed the layup. Rebound back in the corner, Gazelle runs it down. Gazelle stole it at midcourt, missed the layup. Now he drives in, missed the layup again. Rebound, put up and in by Iowa. Tied at 63, 13 seconds left. Shot clock is off, the Illini can win it. 10 seconds left, here's Abrams out near midcourt. Tracy with a dribble, gets a pick, rolls to the right, now to Iki for the win for three. He got it, oh my God, Iki got it. Oh, oh, oh. 0.3 seconds left, and the Illini lead 66-63. John Iki buries a three to give Illinois the lead. Ice water in his vein. Looking, baseball pass intercepted by Abrams, the Illini won it. 66-63, game, set, match. The Illini won it over the Hawkeyes by three. What a bounce back effort by the Illini. I think we know what the play of the game is. John Eakey with a game winning shot to win it. Proud of your resiliency coming off a Tuesday night, and then the way we practiced, and then the plays that guys made today. We stuck. We just kind of hung in there. We kept grinding, kept grinding, kept grinding. It wasn't perfect by any means, but my God, did we grind! And that's what we do. We got our identity back a little bit. But coming into tonight, you were the first team in 11 years to be on the losing streak we were on and still win six or more conference games in 11 years. So what's that mean? Obviously, we didn't want to go through that. For some reason, God put us through that, and we had to go through that. 
to get to where we are now. But what that tells me is we've got a resilient, you have to be really tough to do that now. Because a lot of teams would crumble. They would crack. They wouldn't be able to handle that. Okay, I'm really I said that earlier, but that's an example of why I'm so proud of your resiliency and why I think we've got steel type toughness heading in Indianapolis. Okay, we've got to make sure we get our rest and that we're ready to roll. Okay, here we go. Illinois headed to Indianapolis knowing that they needed a deep run in the Big Ten tournament to have any hope of reaching the NCAA tournament for a second straight season. You know, obviously an exciting time of the year. You know, there's nobody that loves, you know, March more than me. Uh, you know, I, I love it. It's great to be have an opportunity to be playing for something this time of year. Not everyone gets that opportunity. You know, I want to give our guys uh, a lot of credit for staying the course. We're excited to go to Indianapolis. And, Love, uh, love the direction that uh, uh, that we're headed. I'm really excited for our guys. I want them to have fun. I mean, this is a, this is a fun, you know, time of time of year. You know, we got to be ready to go at 11 a.m. Central Time. And uh, good morning, everybody. We don't get to say that often on our broadcast throughout the year. Good morning from Indianapolis where we join you for the start of the Big Ten Basketball Tournament for 2014. It is the Illini basketball team at 18 and 13, the number nine seed, taking on the Indiana Hoosiers for the third time this year. The Hoosiers are the eighth seed. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Indianapolis. Our favorite time of the year, March, oh, is here. Yeah, March Madness starts here today with the start of tournament play. And as is the case with these tournaments, Jerry, you win or you're out. Have fun. Do what we do. Rely on one another. This should be fun, man, okay? This should be fun, enjoy it, okay? Enjoy it together as a team. I wouldn't want to be on this journey with anybody else but you guys as much as we've been through. I love it, okay? Have fun today. Love the moment, relish the moment. How do you do that? Just do what we do. We don't need, we don't need something that extra terrestrial to happen today. We just gotta do what we do, okay? Be a better team today. We've talked about that. We're trying to get to that next line, man. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. His team is playing the best basketball of the season right now, and that's what you want to have happen going into postseason. You want to play your best basketball going into this part of the year. Tap at center, finally and Egwu, and the Hoosiers win the tap. And we're underway here in Indianapolis. Lob to Egwu on the left baseline. In on Vonley, leans in, baby hook is good. Left wing, Tracy Aver, Hollowell on him. Out top to Hill, right wing, open three, it's good! Nine wow. nothing Illinois, timeout Indiana! How do you like that start? Here is Yogi Ferrell, left wing, long jumper up and good by Sheehy right in front of the Illinois bend. Here is Iki, pass to Dunn in the lane, off balance. A short shot is good with the left hand by Kendrick Dunn. Illinois can tie or take the lead, Abrams weaving his way down the lane. Abrams off balance, layup, good! Five to shoot, Farrell shoots a three, it's short. Rebound, Tracy Abrams. On the break, Rice, here he comes, Rice to the basket, lays it up and in with a fingertip roll. And the Illini have surged back up 44-38, timeout Indiana. This is a momentum swing in the postseason. Illinois taking advantage and riding this six-point lead. Started by Egglo. Here's a lob inside to Fonley, who stuffs it home. Both teams made the man all day. Lob, Eki, left corner three. It's good! Indiana with a rebound. They can tie with a three. Farrell to the basket. Layup is good. Pass to Sheehy. Bounce pass inside. Williams with a layup. Right, pass in the corner, Abrams wide open for three, got it! Tracy Abrams with a three. Oh, here's Abrams open for three, he got it! Tracy Abrams with a huge three. From the left wing, they left him open, he said, okay, I'll shoot it. With six, pull up for three, and he missed it. Rebound, Iki taps it to Abrams, and he's the hero of the game, and this one is over. 
The Illini get 25 from Tracy Abrams. And they beat Indiana to advance to play Michigan tomorrow in the Big Ten quarterfinals. 64-54, the Illini beat Indiana. The girls, great job. 35%. Unbelievable job. You packed your defense. We said we were going to play Pacers defense. I think we did. And we hung in there. We had a little bit of a drought offensively. We didn't panic. We showed great poise, a lot like you've done here lately. And we just kind of grinded it out. And at the end, we had the big finish. Okay, great job, man. Great job. Got a bunch of winners in here. That's who you guys are. That's your DNA. I've been telling you that even way back. That's who we are. That's what we're about. Okay, continue to have that mindset with your attitude uh, and your effort as we head into tomorrow. You put yourself in big time position tomorrow. Okay, doesn't get any better than that. You're playing the one C on national television in the Big Ten tournament in front of a sellout. <coughs> you will be prepared. Okay, all right, great job. Proud of you guys. Good morning once again, everybody. Welcome to Fighting Illini Game Day from the Big Ten Tournament to Indianapolis, Indiana, Bankers Life Fieldhouse. As we get set for this first game of today's session, the Illini and the Michigan Wolverines. Illinois with that win, 10-point win yesterday over Indiana. Michigan had a first round bye and uh, got to town after finding out that uh, Illinois was their opponent. They stopped and practiced along the way and are here to take on the Illini. Ten days after Marcus Jackson, they put a whooping on uh, Illinois. I expect it to be a little bit different today. Michigan really played it was probably its best game of the season, I think, uh, offensively overall against Illinois, and really probably at both ends because they held them to 53 points as well. So I expect it to be a little bit different. Illinois is playing with a lot of confidence right now, and you know, teams who win on the first day of the tournament are sometimes dangerous in these games against higher-seeded opponents who uh, who have had a little bit of time off. So we'll see if Illinois is able to, uh, to maintain some momentum. Ryan Barnard, Jerry Hester, ready for this one. Illinois, the visiting blue, they've won a lot of road games, wearing those blue jerseys this year, and nobody's been to the Big Ten semis more than Illinois has down through the year. Tap in the air, Morgan and Egglu, and Dana wins the tap, Dunn, packs up in the left corner for three, and he got it. Abrams inbound to Dunn, got open in the left corner, fires the three and rimmed it, no good, followed by Egglu, though, is good. Joe kicks to Tate, dribbles into the paint, Jayla with a layup, it's good! 21-18 Michigan, now with a pass to Abrams. Kick in the corner to Hill for three, got it. Pass, Agu, 17-footer left baseline is no good. Rebound, Rice, put it up and in, and he's fouled. <laughs> Hill to Dunn, around a pick, pull up for 15 with the left hand, is good. <laughs> oh, I love his four. The top of the circle, circles right of the lane, pull up for 17, is good. Dowskin, timeout, John Drew. Michigan, trying to pull away a little bit. 47-36 Michigan. Robinson right wing, double team. Out to Levert, finds Albrecht for three. Got it. Man, oh man. 53-42 Michigan. Here's Bertrand, drives in along the baseline. Good feed to Eki under the basket, and Eki stops it in. Not yet in the bonus. Here's the inbound of Bertrand. Drives on Morgan. Head fake, leans in. Top shot. He got it to go with the left hand. It's good. All right, here we go. 55 51. Here come the Illini faithful. They're behind us and they're roaring now. Started by Stauskas, finds none, puts it on the deck, passes fed to Abrams for three. And he got it. And we got ourselves a ball game. 55 54. Off to our left, a one point Michigan lead. A lot different than 10 days ago, huh? The zone is really working here. We're the ball. Top of the key, right. Looking, driving. Layup, got it. Line eye with the lead. Rice, he's too strong for Albrecht. And the Illini are back in front for the first time in a long time. 59-58 Illinois. The Illini with a one-point lead at the last media timeout over the top seed of the tournament, Michigan. Here's Abrams in the corner, none. Drives baseline, lays it up and in with a reverse layup. Rice with a dribble drive, down the lane, Rice with a layup, he got it! <laughs> Left to the rim, Rice with a layup. He's not gonna miss that one. 63-61 <laughs> Illinois with 2.24 left, timeout, Michigan. Walton for three, and he missed it badly. Rebound, yeah. out of bounds off of Michigan. No ball. With a minute 33 to go. Oh boy, the place is up for grabs. All right, here we go. 18 seconds to go. Illinois up one, Michigan with a chance to win it. 